Have you seen this video yet? This was made by Claude Artifacts, without any coding done by a person. I know, it's insane, and I'm going to show you how they made it. Keep watching until the end, and I'm going to show you how to make something similar. Now, if you're new here, my name is Ben Silverman, and I am focused on simplifying AI for creatives and creative people. I've got a newsletter I put out once a week to keep you up on everything AI, and I have created an AI toolbox that keeps you up to date on all the latest tools, news, products, and even people that inspire me. So you can check that out and work at your own pace. Don't forget to subscribe if you find any of these videos helpful so I can make more for you and shoot a comment down there if there is anything specific you'd like to see. So you probably have heard of tools like ChatGPT on OpenAI or Gemini by Google. Well, Claude is similar, and it's a chatbot that comes from a company called Anthropic, who Amazon has made one of its largest investments to. All of these chatbots or large language models are able to answer questions, give you feedback, research, and some of them can do even agent-like tasks and actually complete tasks for you. A while back, we saw a tool called Devon, now, Devon is a coding assistant where you can engineer programs without having to write a line of code. And I know some people have used it and said it's incredible. I still not have had the opportunity to do so, but this is similar to what Artifacts enables you to do. But what Artifacts and Claude has done is something really interesting. They are changing up the interface on how you view what they are doing. Now, this gives you the ability to interact with the bot like you haven't been able to before in other softwares. Now, Artifacts provides you with a workspace so you can follow along and manipulate or refine the content that Claude is creating for you. They're really focusing much more on the interface and user experience. And to me personally, I believe that helps with what people who are not into technology as much need to have mass adoption, right? Okay. I am going to stop talking and just show you a little bit about Claude and Artifacts. Now, if you come in right here, this is Claude. You're able to add content right here. Here are some examples where it's talking about generate Excel formulas. If you want to know how to certain, do a certain thing, polish your prose, summarize meeting notes. It can do anything like that. These are actual tasks. These are some of my recent uh, assistants and everything. If you see over here on the left, you can actually see all of your chats. This is me and I can come in right here and have my settings and all of that. So if I click here on settings, it allows me to go into my billing and my account info. And you can uh, here as well do light, which is exactly what it is. I can also go into dark mode. I personally like light mode. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Now feature preview right here is what I'm talking about. So that's where you're gonna come in and you're actually gonna click uh, right here it is uh, off. Now I'm gonna click it on. And it's talking about ask Claude to generate content like code snippets, text documents, or website designs and Claude will create the artifact that appears in a dedicated window. So this is what's different. All right, so let's start a new chat. So uh, let's do exactly what they were doing, right? So I'm just gonna come in here in artifacts and I'm gonna say, can you create for me an image of an eight bit monkey that I would like to use as a character in my game? And you can see right now, this is exactly what it's doing. That's kind of neat, right? And here's the 8-bit monkey. It talks about this SVG image represents an 8-bit monkey. The body is brown rectangle. The face is lighter brown rectangle within the body. It's talking about all the actual characteristics. This design uses basic geometry shapes to create a pixelated look, which is characteristic of 8-bit art. Would you like me to explain? Okay, no, but I would like, can you give this monkey a longer shaped body? So now it's regenerating the monkey and it's showing me exactly like how the rectangle, what the X, what the Y is. And now he's a monkey. I would like this monkey to have a thinner body, thicker legs and a thicker head give him hair also so i am interacting with code 
okay? I'm interacting with a code and it is changing it based on my request. That is exactly what I asked for, right? Um, I make his arms longer. So legs, it's writing code for me right now. <laughs> his arms are, his arms are way too long. Uh, meet me in the middle with shorter <laughs> arms. That's actually really funny. It's gonna like chop you. Okay, let's see what he does. And see, it's right here. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I want. Uh, this is great. Now I want to generate a background for my game. Make uh, a jungle environment similar to the Amazon where my monkey can uh, jump around and swing on vines. And it's talking about, look, this is the background trees. This is mid-ground trees. This is tree detail. So it tells you exactly how it's doing it. Oh, that's really cool. So these are the vines and these are the jumps. Um, can you add a, a place for water and alligators um, and uh, places in the trees? where the monkey might sit and rest for a second. Oh, perfect, perfect. Now I need uh, bananas in the trees that the monkey will be collecting along the route. Cool, this is awesome. He is going to have to avoid snakes and toucans uh, and any other animals along the way. In the water section, I would like him to be able to jump on logs to avoid the alligator. This is incredible. Like, do you realize I'm, I'm, I'm not coding anything. I'm just literally having a conversation with my computer and it is writing all of the code that I'm telling it to create for these objects. Now they're doing the bananas, the snakes, toucans. Okay. Those are the two cans right there. Okay. Now imagine I like this, right? Um, now I would like to marry the background with the monkey uh, to combine the two for a game. Uh, Mid-ground trees, tree details, vines, water, ground. And it tells you each detail along the way. You can see that, right? So that's really, really cool. Okay, face, no ears, arms. And technically, I should be able to go in 
and do all of this, right? Can you show me what the monkey will look like in profile view? Side perspective of the monkey, which can be useful for side scrolling gameplay. <laughs> That's his little tail. That's cool. I like that. Um, now put him in the game. So now they're generating the monkey with they're generating the monkey with the background. With my bananas, my vines, my snakes, my toucans. There they are, the alligators, the rattling. Uh, the resting spots, two cans. And I could go back in here and I could change all of this code because they've labeled it so incredibly well. Oh, that's cool. So this is pretty cool. Like this is an 8-bit jungle game scene with monkey and with a monkey character, vines, two cans, and literally you watched me create this game. Like, you remember games like Flappy Bird or even Super Mario Brothers, right? Look at Super Mario Brothers. And look at this. Uh, how long did it take for somebody to create Super Mario Brothers and what I just did? Now, what this is really, really incredible. And um, now it saves it over here. There's my 8 -bit, bit monkey game character. And you can see right here, um, I, I focused on this as well. And they gave me the crab. And I did the crab before as well. So it is really, really neat. Chat controls. Here it is, 8-bit style crab. Um, all of my, this is all of the things that I had it create for me. So it's actual, actual files. Like these are actual files, right? Uh, this is really neat. So you should check it out for yourself. You could ask it to create a website for you, any type of coding, create a game, uh, play around with it. You can bet that this is going to get much, much better. Now, I just created an 8-bit. Wait till it understands 3D and wait till it actually starts making things like Pixar style. Um, I mean, all it did is code. Why would all, we just need to aim for it to do that type of code instead and like learn how to do this. So this is incredible. Check it out and I'll see you next time.